so Detroit will get the first possession. You can feel the excitement for the new season. And Greg, when you were playing, is there an opening day that really stands out in your mind? Detroit. Play on MP, what a fantastic season Greg he put together last year. And I don't think that MP is satisfied with his numbers from last year. I could see him actually improving his impact on the floor this season. Here's Bagley. And here's Ivy. Nails it from the high post. Too smooth from the mid-range. Defenders can't let Ivy get comfortable from there. And here's MP for three. Goes back up. Robinson, that's good. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. Cunningham gets the bucket. And this is the beauty of Cunningham. He can score from anywhere on the floor. That length, obviously, a huge advantage. And Greg, in the era of positionless basketball, Mitchell Robinson is an old-school center, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, during his first four years in the league, Robinson didn't attempt a single three. It has led the league in shooting percentage, so Mitchell knows his role. And here are the Pistons. Now, let's send it over to the decorated David Aldridge, who was able to talk with Will Hardy. Thanks, Kevin. Looking at these matchups, he thinks they can pound the ball inside with success. He wants them to get points in the paint early, force the defense to collapse, and then play inside out. We'll see if the opponent sticks to that game plan as well, guys. Okay, David, thanks. MP, that's for two. And a little luck that time, but it drops. MP's got five points so far. That's two things right there for R.J. Barrett. It's awareness and unselfishness. Pretty pass. Weisman, the pass to Cunningham. Bagley with a screen on Van Vliet. Cunningham finds Bagley. And finished off by Bagley. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. New York's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Handle outside. Back to MP. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Talk about hitting the ground running. Four for five to start. Cunningham looking it over. He dishes it to Bagley. Here's Ivy. Over MP. The shot by Ivy. No good. And here's MP for three. Here's Barrett. Crops in the layup for two. Yeah, R.J. Barrett just refusing to give up on the possession. Creates an opportunity off the window. Nicely done. Passes it to Ivy. And the rejection by MP. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the court. Got that one up quick. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group now. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Bob pass to Bagley. Offensive rebound. Pat Donovich wide open. Detroit no good that time either. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. MP's shot is good. They're beginning to take charge. Detroit. Pistons trail by nine. Outside, wall. Pass to Hayes. Now, here's Stewart. Outside, wall. 
They need this. Gets the three-pointer to fall. This guy has worked so hard to make his shot legit. The compact stroke from three by John Wall. Yes, sir. A nice shot by MP. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. And Wall kicks to Bogdanovich. Pass to Stewart. Right wing. Here's Hayes. Oh, good on the triple. Well, they are daring him to miss, and he obliges. The train. And again, New York with the triple. Where they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Next lead, Brunson against Wall. Stewart in the corner. Back to Bogdanovich. Just five on the clock. Goes up the baseline. Here's Duran. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. And this is something this guy takes pride in. Capitalizing on second chance opportunities. In the corner, it's MP. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. 16 points for MP. And as the first quarter wraps up. That's the end of the first quarter. in we've got a wide mark Hayes up going with the new group then for the Pistons Wiseman's checked in for Duran Hayes comes in for Bogdanovich and John Wall subbed in for Cunningham let's hear it for your city kick The Knicks leading by 13, and Detroit looking at who they've got. We've got Isaiah Stewart. He's out there with Wall. Then there's James Wiseman, and it's Ivy in at the small forward. Sinks the triple. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. Wiseman the pass to Hayes. That's the three fly, and the rebound goes to the Knicks. I know he wants to answer the three that was just made on the other end, but he can't let that affect his judgment. He's got to find the best shot possible. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic. It is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. To the inside, and the dunk by Stewart. Yeah, a natural score. Ivy mean, is developing into a tremendous playmaker. MP right side. It's up a three. It's hauled in by Stewart. Pistons trail by 17. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Wiseman with the ball. Robinson on him. New York is going to need 50% from three-point range in the second quarter. Four for eight. Kept alive. And then Robinson slams it in. The athleticism of Mitchell Robinson is something to behold. Nice job capturing the moment on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. The Pistons shooting 38% from the field. A pretty weak showing for them. There's the pass to Stewart. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Down low. Here's Weitzman. Robinson with the block. And he recovers it. Here's Hayes. No good from outside. And here's MP for three. And the three ball is good. MP's got nine points in the quarter. The shot. No good. And so it's New York holding a 22-point lead as the quarter wraps up. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very hot. Thanks for tuning in. We love the mountain climbing, don't we?
Well, there's a huge mountain to climb for the Detroit Pistons. It's their defense that's put them in this spot, giving up easy looks all over the place. It's like they don't have even a, a game plan in place. Check out the field goal percentage that they've allowed. Oh, that's not going to cut it, Ernie. I don't even want to talk about it no more. Uh. Okay, and now moving on to what's been a fantastic head-to-head -head matchup at the two-guard spot. When you're facing MP, it isn't about trying to shut him down on the offensive end. You're not going to be able to do that. Your goal as a defender is just to make him work harder and hope, and I'm telling you, hope that he doesn't find a rhythm. It's doable, but it takes razor-sharp focus to get it done. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You look at MP in this game, guys, he has been everywhere. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end, and boy, this young guy has done just that. Randall and Robinson will be the inside pair. And Van Vliet out there with MP, and it's Barrett at the small fold. So that's who Tom Thibodeau starts in the second half with. And when people talk about defense, the term boxes and elbows comes up a lot. Great for our audience. Can you explain what that's about? It's a great point, Kevin. And, and listen, the two defenders on what we call the boxes, that's down in the low post area. And you see those two boxes down at the end of the free throw line. And then you have the two defenders on the elbow. So that's the edge of the free throw line. The idea to close down the paint. It's stolen by Bagley. And now the fast break. Ivy with the ball. Cunningham outside. His three-pointers off the mark. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Here's Randall, and he uses the glass on the lane. Randall's got 10. Boy, there was plenty of contact down low, but Randall assertive and able to find the finish. Cunningham passes to Bogdanovich. That three off the mark. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. MP finds Barrett. New York moving the ball around. Robinson a screen on Cunningham. Drills the three-pointer. He's got five. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. And Fred Van Vliet, a player who has always shot well from outside. And Kevin Van Vliet has continued to kind of take on more of an offensive load. Increased his volume while maintaining efficiency. Not every player able to do that. The three from MP. And falls. Great assist by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got six assists here tonight. Ivy kicks to Bagley. Bagley with a screen on Van Vliet. Cunningham's shot is off. The Knicks have gone four for four from the field since the halftime break. Terrific start to the third quarter. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Now we see more and more top prospects bypass college or even leave high school early to make six figures playing for G League Ignite. For many years going to first team foul. First team foul. Cade Cunningham at the line. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Quickly, he's it's your time, MP. Take over. Gets it off. 
No good on that one. And so it's New York with a massive lead. The Knicks, 81. The Pistons, 51. And the New York of the ball. to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. And so it's Lamb with it. He brings it up for Detroit. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. And on the four for Detroit here in the fourth. We've got Hampton. Also Jeremy Lamb out there. Duncan Robinson out there with Isaiah Stewart. And it's Livers in at the four. Wainwright passes to Atkins. Nails the wide open jump shot. MP's got 33. Boy, the consistency he's had tonight has been impressive. Really steady from the field. Hampton with the ball. On the wing, Lamb jacks up a three. No good, shot missing. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Adkins. Rebound, Detroit. Now here's Lamb. Passes it to Stewart. And so it's going to be a Jeremy Lamb. In the West, of course, as we know, the West was dominated by Golden State. But now, does the lead to your Knicks? Isaiah Hartenstein. Fred Van Vliet. That absolutely had a shot to make the finals. Contingent on health. Obviously, Milwaukee without Chris Middleton struggled to get over the finish line. In the West, you had three teams who I thought legitimately could advance. So certainly the gap between playoff teams feels smaller. That one goes in. And now that's 35 points for MP. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Robinson misses. The Knicks have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. MP kicks to Scott. Van Vliet passes to Atkins. Connects again from distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. 88-52. For Detroit, they've gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. The Knicks have gone 3-4 of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Shoots. Second shot opportunity. It's good. Uh, and boy, he can see blood in the water attacking a somewhat helpless team right now. Well, you love that there's no let up in how they're playing. They want to dominate every aspect, including second chance points. Again, the miss by the Pistons. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Well, the defense flat out awful right there, and he couldn't punish them for their mistake. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. Fires from deep. And another three for New York. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Hampton passes to Stewart. The dish to Hampton. The leadership of the NBA Players Association, Greg, has said they support expansion. And two cities, which seem to be the leading candidates, Seattle and Las Vegas. What do you think? Well, I love both. Had the good fortune of playing in both cities. And I'd love to see a team in my hometown. But bottom line, more teams means more jobs. And that's the sentiment I think most can get behind. Robinson misses. New York's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Knicks. Not only did they shoot the ball better, but they had more assists. Yeah, I thought the passing in terms of finding the open man gave them the higher percentage shots. The ball movement was key for the win.
And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And against a conference opponent, always good to take that first win of the season series to establish a psychological edge. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for MP. What a relentless scoring night for this guy in attack mode all evening. Robinson for three. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. And the Knicks with possession. They're on an 18 to one run. A three from MP. Good, another from three. He has been on the money from deep. Yep, definitely looking to shoot it as much as possible. Lamb passes to Robinson. Here's Livers. Back to Robinson. And the layup's good off the glass. Well, easy money, right? I like the strategy. Go inside, get a high percentage look. To the left wing. MP way outside. And again, New York with the triple. Knicks lead 105. So no problem for New York as they get the win. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly. And the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Olden, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew. Thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.